This plane is such a bullet hose. The gun pod is just so much fun. Uh, and, you know, let's ho let's hose this other A10 too. Yeah. yeah who's the A10 now? <gasps> Hello, I am Aoya Laipe, and I like to hop into top tier matches in War Thunder, and then personally kill the entire enemy team by myself. Welcome to my channel. I was really busy last week, so I was like, all right, what video can I throw together quickly that wouldn't require lots of editing and memes, but would still be really entertaining? I was like, you know, I could make that Skyhawk video. Killing everyone with Skyhawk is just inherently entertaining. Uh, of course, I had to go kill everyone with Skyhawk first, so I, uh, I went ahead and did that. I wiped out an entire team with a Skyhawk. Yippee. But unfortunately, OBS felt like recording audio and not video for some reason, which is a shame because the, the chat was hilarious. People were like, I can't finish my wager because that douchebag in the Skyhawk won't stop killing everyone in sight. And that's not a complaint you hear every day in this game. And incognito mode randomly assigned me the name Luigi, so people were like, screw you, Luigi. And, and the match before that, a guy told me to learn to play and then rage quit it immediately before I got a quadruple kill. That would have made a great intro. Oh well. So alright, I guess I just have to try again and uh, oh great, this this match is a full goddamn up tier. Yeah, sure, I'll just wipe out a full up tier with a Skyhawk. No problem. So in, in real life, the A4 Skyhawk is best known for being the plane that dropped John McCain off at the Hanoi Hilton. But if you think that was torture, oh man, just watch a new player try to fly the A4E in War Thunder. <laughs> How's that for a transition? The A4E variant is the American Squadron plane, and it's a Delta Wing strike plane, and uh, that combination of words means that it's a glorified bomber that is tricky to fly, and it gets handed to noobs who try to dogfight with it. So like, any TTA player who has been around for a while knows that they're kind of just free kills. And just like uh, those new players, I will be going for air-to-air -air kills with my Skyhawk today, but the difference is that uh, when I do it, the entire enemy team will die. Uh, oh, and the other difference is I'm flying the Israeli A4NIE, which is basically a normal Skyhawk, but it's been totally pimped out. It's fundamentally the same plane, but it has more engine power and uh, more firepower. However, the real selling point in terms of just pure fun on this plane is the gun pod. Normally, I don't take gun pods on anything ever. They massively hinder flight performance. But for the Aiet, it's it's just too much fun. I'm sorry, the Aiet has a normal 30mm cannon, but it has a 20mm gun pod. So the ballistics on the two bullets are different, and that creates this hilariously powerful shotgun blast effect. You can just hose someone's postal code with giant bullets, and it's awesome. But uh, only ever take one gun pod, or you will just utterly ruin your performance. Like, just the one gun pod has a pretty serious effect, but like, it's worth it because it's just so much fun. The American Skyhawks get a 20mm cannon and a 20mm gun pod, so it's not quite the same. As for missiles, you can get two A9Ds and two Shafir 2s. These missiles are slightly different in every way, but they, they do the same basic job about as well as each other. Uh, however, the differences are that the Shafir is a shorter range missile, and your A9D is uh, more of a long range missile. The reason why is the Shafir has an uncaged seeker, so you can lead targets at close range. In theory, the range is pretty similar, but the A9D accelerates faster, so it'll actually be better, you know, actually hitting targets that are further away. Also, your main threat in this plane will be F-104s, and you always want to use an A9D against them, because they're really fast and they will outrun your Shafir too pretty easily. Everyone else, though, is not really that much of a concern. Now that I've explained how the weapons work, I should explain uh, the flight forms, like how to actually fly the plane, but that will have to wait for just a minute, because I'm about to show you how much fun these gun pods can be. So, first things first, let's, let's just get this F5C out of the way with an A9D, and then, uh, now you see that A10? Yeah, it's gone now. This plane is such a bullet hose. The gun pod is just so much fun. Uh, and, you know, let's, ho let's hose this other A10, too. Yeah. yeah who's the A10 now? You know, there is actually a plane that is worse than the Skyhawk in this game, and it's called the A-10, and uh, if you bought that premium, uh, I'm sorry, but you bought the wrong premium. Anyways, and then this uh, FJ-4B shows up, and uh, looks like we both surprised each other there. And uh, you can just see just how slowly the Shafir accelerates at first. It's kind of embarrassing I didn't kill him, also my guns weren't reload, but uh, you know, I guess I kind of scared him enough that he flew into the ground. I didn't get kill credit, but like I scared him into the ground, I guess. Alright, now, now how do you actually like fly this thing? Uh, okay, so uh, the Skyhawk is a Delta Wing, and Delta Wings turn fast and have bad energy retention. That's the basic deal with them. Uh, they also tend to go fast, they're built for speed. Now, with the Skyhawk, the energy retention is bad because it's a Delta Wing, but it's not utterly horrifying. Uh, you shouldn't turn fight with this plane, but you don't have to turn into like a Psycho who constantly plots and schemes how to avoid all turns altogether. The Skyhawk can go surprisingly fast, 
but it doesn't have an afterburner, so it takes a while to get up to speed. Combined with the less than utterly horrifying energy retention and the solid turn rate, you know, however brief you can keep that turn rate up when your energy retention is bad. The basic way I played the Skyhawk is that I would speed up, fight, do a little bit of turning in my fighting, and once my energy dropped I would uh, pull out and spend some time accelerating straight line while also reloading my weapons. Once my speed was back up to a manageable speed, um, I would just re-enter the fight. So if for some reason you're really hell-bent on doing air-to-air -air combat with a, uh, with a Skyhawk, you really need to be patient. Uh, there will be lots of times where you see juicy targets and want to charge in, but it's just a bad idea because you don't have enough energy. You want to build speed and circle around. The, 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 the advantage this plane brings to the table is that it can go surprisingly fast for like a low rank 6 plane. And oh look, this F-84 has uh, tried to kill me, but unfortunately for him, uh, I have a schedule to keep, and that schedule involves his team dying to a freaking Skyhawk. Now this is where the speed comes in. I can already more or less outrun him, but if I'm if we have an extended chase and I'm just building him speed in a straight line, he's never going to catch me. So that's what I do. I'll put this part on fast forward, and just like I said, I'm going to take the chance to reload, so I'm going to jettison my missiles early, get a reload going, gun dump my flares, get a reloader going, and I'm just going to build speed and circle back. Especially once it's like the middle of the match and a decent chunk of the enemy team has died off, uh, they will be in planes that can't really deal with the Skyhawk speed, but you have to consciously make the effort to make the Skyhawk actually go up to a good speed, because, you know, it, it takes a while to accelerate. So now I'm going like 900 kilometers an hour, I got, you know, a gun pod, a big ass 30mm cannon, aim 9Ds, Shafir 2s, it's, it's very hard for enemy players to deal with that if you just come screeching at them. But again, you really have to consciously make the effort to make your A4 speed up. You want to find a safe spot on the map and just straight line it for like 30-45 seconds. There are pl other planes that can theoretically outrun you, but if you make a conscious effort to go fast, one of the few planes that can just casually meet your speed and chase you down is an F-104, so they are priority targets. If you see one, uh, you have the firepower to kill it, kill it as quickly as you can. You want those out of the way. Now this uh, F-3H-2 here, um, this is exactly the sort of situation where you want to use a Shafir 2 because it lets you lead the target. And you can see how helpful having an uncaged secret that lets you lead a target to close range can be. Also, I'm going to have to circle around, so um, I'm just going to fast forward through that again. People like to complain about the Shafir 2, but um, honestly, if I had the option of taking four A9Ds, I don't think I would. I think I would still take two A9Ds and two Shafir 2s, because with this plane, uh, you have to take two of each. They don't let you take four A9Ds. It's, it's strange. Although you can take four Shafir 2s, but then you can't really hit stuff at long range. This here is an extremely long range A9D shot. It's only possible to make it because that F3H2 is going so, so slowly. Uh, planes that are going slow can't really run away from missiles. Uh, so you can you can hit targets from really far away if they're slow. But that is definitely an atypical shot. Also, as you can see, the AAA has gotten buffed in the most recent patch. So uh, it now will actually kill you from pretty far away. Also, if the AAA is shooting you, you'll notice. Now, I have a bit of a problem. You see, my channel has standards, and that standard is 10 kills and a win, or 15 kills and a loss, to be in a video. You know, at least, you know, more is better, of course. And uh, I also have to do without dying, unless the plane is uniquely bad. And, and the Skyhawk isn't that bad, but, like, you know, the Jaguar S, or, like, the Vator was. And I only have 9 kills at the moment, and the game is basically over. It doesn't meet standards, but thankfully, this guy responds for some reason, and I just hose him with missiles, uh, and pull out before the AAA can get me. And... Woohoo! Got him! There we go! Double digit kill streak with a Skyhawk! This is actually my fourth with it. The first time I lost the match, the second time I died, and the third time OBS wasn't recording. So I had to do it a fourth time. This took longer than I thought it would. I spent like two hours at it. It was, it was, it was a while. But yeah, the Skyhawk isn't as bad as people think. You know, at least not this version, right? So, <laughs> But seriously, like the only other plane I would ever consider running a gun pod on is the uh, F1C200. Because the, uh, the gun pods actually have less drag than the missiles. I gotta make a video about that too sometime. I have a few nutty killstreaks with that plane. I have like a massive backlog of content to edit. But anyways, that's how I managed to devastate a team with a Skyhawk in a full up tier. Uh, as a reminder, uh, if you subscribe or ring the bell, you won't need to remember how to spell a Yogi next time you want to watch one of my videos.